segment of the night, and that would be our video games. Video games. And so there's been talks over the decades, and probably not decades, because online gameplay hasn't been around for decades, but for I'm just going to say decades, uh, that why can't we play, if, if someone has an Xbox and someone has a PlayStation and we're playing games online, why can't we play against them? Every, there's always been all these different reasons why we haven't had them, whether they be a different version, you make a different game for different software, blah, blah, blah. But as time has gone on and the, soft, and the hardware has gotten so much more similar, because the hardware between an Xbox and a PS4 is, is, is negligible. It's pretty, pretty. They have the same G- CPU and GPU for the most part. Yeah. I think their GPUs are are a little bit more different than the the CPUs are, but the CPUs are almost the same model, even so. But so we recently got uh, Minecraft came out with the play together version. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember exactly what it was called, but Minecraft came out and was like, "Hey, we, oh, better together version update," and and that is they have started to expand cross platform play. So now. With Minecraft, you can play with Nintendo, you can play PC, you can play Xbox, and now Minecraft is owned by Xbox. And they have actually Microsoft, invited yeah. PlayStation to join. Now, over the past couple of months, PlayStation keeps saying, no, we don't want to do it. We don't want to do it. We don't want to do it. Which is very interesting because I remember a couple of years ago, there was a game or two that was left off of the Xbox uh, because PlayStation said, okay, we'll do cross-platform play. And Xbox was like, no. Street so, Fighter Five, I believe, was Street Fighter Five. Um, I believe Final Fantasy fourteen, the MMO version, was going to be on both, and then was pulled from Xbox because they didn't want to do cross-platform play. And this just got me to thinking: When are we ever going to get this cross-platform play? And what will this do to the game industry if we ever do get it? Now, I can't imagine we would want to get cross-platform play with like shooters, like especially FPS shooters, uh, just because it is PC people have an advantage having that mouse to aim with is so much nicer than having a some thumbsticks so that would be a disadvantage but other things i could see being just fine real-time strategy games uh you know fighting games different things like that would work minecraft is a perfect example of there's no reason why you can't have cross-platform games games where but, on pc people typically prefer using a controller anyway mm-hmm, make perfect amazing. sense yeah and but what would this really do to the industry if we did this now one thing it would do is it would totally blur the lines between why you should get a playstation 4 or an xbox one uh because a lot of people and i'm not excluded from that i i had it was very hard for me to go ps4 over my xbox one because i had a lot of friends on xbox uh a lot of the people i played online games with because i was a big three xbox 360 gamer i had developed friendships with people that we would play games together online people i might not have ever met in real person in real life but i knew a lot about and they were good people and fun to hang out with at least online um that i knew and so when i switched from xbox to playstation i knew i was leaving a lot of those people behind now, if I could have the cross-platform, I might, you know, it might not have been that big of a deal because I could still play with them in a lot of things. But you know, that's that's one thing. Um, what was my other point? I don't know my other point. I forgot my other point. Damn it. Your yep. other this point, is, Brian, was when this is great. Cross-platform. It's just cooler. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How it's blurring the line. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but then the other thing is, I was thinking, if we do eventually go cross-platform what's the point of continually having separate systems? Cause yeah, I know the only draw now, if we ever did go strictly cross platform, like almost all games you could play between both platforms um, would be the exclusives, but how many exclusive, like would it really be worth it for these, re- uh, for these people to make exclusive titles? If you were going to have cross platform, I mean, you, you'd be cutting down on your audience then at that point, unless they're, they're it was already doing that. But you know. the other thing that comes in, I think, that's important is in order, especially for any kind of even semi-competitive game, the only way cross-platform makes sense is if the game is designed in such a way that none of the platforms has a distinct advantage or disadvantage, which means pretty much you're designing the game to be optimal for the lowest capability system so that it, in, in some ways that could hurt everyone <laughs> um yeah. if your system could push things a little bit better or optimize you're not going to do that be, uh or you're not going to get but i would imagine that would hurt pc gamers playing with playstation or xbox gamers yes more but than it also would be a matter of like if you say that 
PS4 has slightly better graphics than the Xbox, well, it's not going to matter because you're going to get the same graphics um, or a lot of the graphic. same features and performance that they have or if Switch mm-hmm. gets in on it. Um, everything's going to be allocated to whatever is the worst capabil- capable system for this. And also, it, possibly even worse than that, it's going to be uh, sandwiched in such a way that everything that can do every, everything equally. So something that maybe the Xbox One could do this kind of thing better than the PS4 and PS4 could do this other kind of thing better than, well, you're just going to not get either. You're just going to get whatever yeah. both of them can have. At least that's what I would assume they would go for. You just uh, strip everything down. Now that might not be that big of a change because we're already have a lot of developers just using engines that are designed to build out yeah, unreal 4 games one. like 70 percent or some ridiculous number of games are made on the unreal engine and, so and some of those engines can differentiate between platform and give more capabilities for one or the other but some don't or can't or they don't do a whole lot without a lot of extra work so some mm-hmm. games they're already you know not pushing the limits of the systems that they're on anyway and can are already pretty much identical on both um, but it, it would definitely mean though, that all of them would need to be, would have a more stress of, we're not going to be different. You're not going to get a better experience, at least online, at least in the, the multiplayer mode on the PlayStation four, for call of duty 29 versus your experience on you mean the next one. call of duty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Which, so is that a good thing or a bad thing? I, I, I just can't wait for the day when there's only one good system. And then I also rue the day that there's only one good system because we, well, it, there, it would be there's always that speculation now. The console that, wars are, are over because we're going to stop having consoles. Yeah, but they've already started talking about the next PS5 and stuff like that, that those are in development. Yeah. So that's not going to happen. Probably this generation. I thought this generation would be. And then they're talking about modular consoles where you can replace modules, you know, but then Which that'll. Just like a PC? <laughs> which, yeah, or the steam the steam box worms. which was <laughs> that'll open up so many other can of worms that it won't even be funny but all i know is that i would like cross-platform play but i don't ever really see it happening and it's funny that xbox is all about it whereas playstation is now whereas a couple of years ago it seemed like it was the other way so i don't know uh it's a very confusing topic for me i didn't really flesh it out very well and that's my fault brendan did better on this one than i did so Thank Yay. you for carrying that segment, Brendan. But that's that's our thoughts on it. His up. Let us know what you think. Can you uh, are you excited for cross platform play or uh, you just don't care? Uh, hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at what's my face on Twitter. Google Plus Facebook. Oh, is good ways getting a hold of us. 